Hello, this is Jane Goodall on World Environment Day. And I want us to reflect on this day, as indeed we should be reflecting on every day, that our disrespect of the environment has led to some major problems. First of all, it's completely crazy to think that we can have unlimited economic development on a planet with finite natural resources, many of which already in some places are being used up more quickly than nature can replenish them. And our population is growing. It's 7.2 billion roughly now, predicted to be 9.7 billion in 2050. And how will the planet cope? I can't answer that question, but we must think about it. And of course we want everybody on the planet to have a good life. But we have to realize that there are three problems that we have to overcome. We must try and alleviate poverty because if you're really poor, you're going to cut down the last trees in your effort to grow food, to feed your family or fish the last fish for the same reason. Little bird. And so we also have to do something Thank you. We have to do something to reduce our unsustainable way of life. And we have to try and do something about corruption. So we've been through a very extraordinary time. We're still going through it because of the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. And nature's had a chance in some cases to come back. I mean, the levels, the amounts of CO2 in the atmosphere have been reduced as factories were closed. And as country after country put people in lockdown so they could no longer drive and pollute the air with fossil fuels and by burning of fossil fuels. And the, you know, there must be hundreds of thousands of people now who in the big cities, maybe for the first time ever, have being able to breathe clean air. What a luxury for them. We take it for granted, so many of us. And so look up at the night sky and see the brightness of the stars shining up there. These people will not want to go back to business as usual. And I want to say this too, that it's our disrespect of the natural world that has brought this pandemic upon us. It's our fault, we've done it. Our disrespect of nature and our disrespect of animals. How so? As we destroy, for example, forests, the rich biodiversity of animal life that's being pushed closer together, giving opportunities for viruses and bacteria to jump over from animals to other animals. And then as animals are being pushed into closer contact with us, because of reduced food supplies in their own environment, then this again creates a situation where a bacteria or virus can spill over from an animal to a person and by combining with cells in the body, produce sometimes a new disease like COVID-19. 